so what i discussed till now what is zone plate so it is a device used to focus light or other things exhibiting wave like character okay and it uses diffraction instead of reflection or refraction so the phenomena is diffraction phenomena so it consists of uh, alternate it consists of alternate opaque and transparent uh, zones which are known as fresnel zones okay and they are symmetric so this is the idea about zone plate uh, next we have studied what do, what are the two types of zone plate one is called as negative or positive zone plate another is negative zone plate so in positive zone plate what happens odd number of uh, zones are transparent you can see one three five like that and in even in negative zone plate even number of zones are transparent that is two four six like that so this is the fundamental idea of zone plate now actually we will move on to how to calculate the radius of zone plate so you write next topic radius of zone plate so radius of zone plate for that you draw this figure These are the zone plates, okay? Means uh, these are the zones. In 3D, you can find a better picture if you see the 3D view. And this is the center. This is the center. Uh, for example, this point is O. Hmm. And uh, here, for example, this point is M1. M1. m1 okay and this point is m2 m2 now we consider a point p for example this is the point where the light is being focused okay now this distance from o to p that is op is this distance is B, okay, B. From M1 to P, from M1 to P, you draw one line. This is, uh, I'll tell you, what is the length of this? And then, uh, next is, from M2 to P, you draw another line. Okay, so this, yellow line it represents a length of b plus lambda by 2 okay lambda by 2 means lambda means the wavelength of the light that is being used okay and this green this green one has length of b plus twice of lambda by 2 okay so we have here from the figure we have op is equal to b acha om1 this om1 has also a radius om1 is equal to r1 that means it is the radius of the first ring okay om1 is the radius of the first ring then om2 om2 that is the second ring has radius equal to r2 okay and so on it goes on and on and m1 p you see from the figure m1 p is equal to how much b plus lambda by 2 m2 p is equal to b plus twice of lambda by 2 and if there is m3 then m3 p is equal to thrice of lambda by 2 okay like that 
and so on. Now what we will do is, we will calculate the area of the zones. What is the area of the zone OM1? Okay. What is the area of the zone OM2 like that? Okay. Um, so I'm. Let me continue. Uh, this area. Now we'll calculate the area of the zone. Area of first zone. First zone. I'm calculating. Area of the first zone. What is the first zone? What is the area of the first zone? It is from the figure you see. What is the formula for area? Pi r square, isn't it? Area of a circle is pi r square. So pi into what is the radius of the first zone? O m1. O m1 square. Okay. So pi in bracket. What is O m1? O m1 square can be written as m1 p square minus o p square. So we put we put the value of m1p. M1p is this much, isn't it? B plus lambda by two. It is B plus lambda by two square minus op is b b square. Now you just break this and just find the you can find the value. So uh, further. Uh, pi o m1 square o m1 square is equal to pi times so pi pi will be cancelled out we will be getting uh, b square plus b lambda plus lambda square by 4 minus b square so we can cancel out something pi pi can be cancelled out then b square and this b square can be cancelled out so what is uh, we have got o m1 square is equal to b lambda plus lambda square by 4 okay so i'm moving on to the next page uh, o m1 square is equal to uh, b lambda plus lambda square by 4 b lambda plus lambda square by 4 now this lambda lambda is very small okay so this we can neglect this can be written as O M1 square is equal to B lambda. So in bracket you write lambda square by 4 is nearly equal to 0. So I am getting the uh, radius. O M1 is the R1. Thai, na? R1. R1 is equal to O M1. Uh, oh, so if we take. So O M1 will be how much? square root of b lambda this is equation number one okay now you can see similarly you can calculate what is r2 we can easily calculate similarly r2 we can calculate and it is equal to 2 b lambda so Okay, so area, uh, the technique is same, area, area of second zone, area of second zone, from the figure you can see, so Area of uh, area of first zone you have seen, area is pi times of O M one square. So area of the first zone, area of first zone is also pi b lambda. If you calculate, radius is this much, but area is same. So area of second zone is like this. Same answer. Now radius of first second third like this okay zones what are the radius r 
square root of b lambda square root of 2b lambda like this square root of 3b lambda so in this way it goes on 